handling large amounts of data for you is what an EMR does best. We'll show you how this can simplify the lab order and review process. We have a lab indicator that looks like a jelly bean that lights up when we get labs back from our lab. We can then comment on them or jump to the hub and create a telephone encounter to contact the patient, change their meds, or order follow-up studies. We'll look at easy ways to review the labs all at once or faxing the labs to the patient or other doctors, review each panel along with the historical results and add comments, or show you how the comments will flow to the patient portal. We can look at the labs in a cumulative fashion. Uh, we can print them out, fax them, or again, which is an extremely popular option for our patients. Particularly since it's automatic, we like it too. Here's the jelly bean area. Here's the red L area. There's three results that have returned. We'll click there and we immediately see that our test patient has those three results. We'll go ahead and click one of them and go over and look at the view area and we'll click all reports and we see all three lab reports uh, uh, collected together. We can scan down, look at all the results. The abnormals are in red with high or low. We can click reviewed and OK. And then they are reviewed and that indicates that you have looked at them. You can then print out from this screen if you want to give a copy to your patient during the visit or hand it to somebody else or you can click the fax button go up here and we will choose to send it to another provider say the referring physician we will browse to that provider's name click their name click OK and then we'll go down here and click send fax that sends it with a cover sheet through our fax server and the referring doctor has the result in a matter of minutes Another way to look at labs is panel by panel. This has the advantage of showing historical results for that same panel. So we can look at all the potassiums, glucoses, calciums, etc., all lined up together. We can add note that's specific to that panel. And here I'm going to type in low potassium noted. And we'll go to next. That'll bring up the next lab panel, which in this case was a lipid panel. Again, if there were old results, they would be here. We'll leave a note that says high triglycerides noted, and we'll click next, and that brings up our hemoglobin A1C. Uh, we can see the historical uh, results. It's gone from 6.1 to 9.0, so we'll put in A1C much higher, and we could click OK, but let's jump to the progress note and see exactly what all of this has been doing to our note. Well, uh, that's our test patient that we did the last video, and let's go down to the treatment section and you can see here the first diagnosis diabetes mellitus there are all these labs from the chem 12 there and the hemoglobin a1c with the notes that we put including the low potassium and the a1c much higher they're included now as part of the progress note so you didn't have to do any more typing we can click on the hyper one more time at that historical data well, while the note is still unlocked you can still click on these hyperlinks one way that we can also look at labs is in the far left column we can click lab imaging and that brings us to our options just like clicking on the jelly bean. Uh, let's look at the lab section one other way. This shows all of the labs we've ever done on this patient. We can click and sort them by different category like hematology or chemistry. Let's uh, look at a cumulative report. We'll look at all the labs and we'll click this button that says cumulative e-report and this has all of the labs uh, that have been resulted for this patient. Now, since this is a test patient, I don't have a lot. We could go back further in time if we wanted to broaden the, the period of time covered by that cumulative report. We could print out the report if we wanted to. Uh, let's look at another patient. Just for an example, though, uh, this is a patient that has uh, several results back, and you can see how they all line up. You can see how they've changed over time. Let's actually go through the exact review process one more time. We're actually going to do the review. Here we'll look at all the reports and we could click reviewed and OK. If you accepted them, that's fine. Or let's do them one at a time and this time we for sure we're going to actually review them and indicate to the EMR that we have looked at them. We're going to leave a little note here about that potassium, low potassium noted. We'll go up, click the radio button that says reviewed and click next. That jumps to the next panel. Uh, Again, we're going to leave a note that says high triglycerides. Uh, Got to spell triglycerides. Not the world's best speller. You could put that in a browse button if you wanted to save that 
for repetitive use. And here in the A1C, see the A1C has gone from 6.1 to 9. We'll say A1C much higher. Click reviewed and OK. Now all those labs have disappeared from our list. They have been reviewed. They don't need to be reviewed again. Let's look at the jelly bean area. The red L has gone from 3 to a uh, gray 0. So those labs are reviewed. Here is the portal. This is what the portal looks like to the patient after they've signed in with their username and password. Let's look at lab diagnostic reports. They are going to click on their results here. They'll see that you have noted the low potassium and the A1C is much higher and the high triglycerides. They see your notes. They can click on the hyperlink and they bring up the actual results just like you saw them. They don't have the highs and lows noted, but they do have the reference range and your notes at the bottom. Let's look at that A1C. Now they're doing this for the convenience of their own home. They get an email that the lab results are back telling them to go ahead log on to the portal, look at the results from home. The patients really love this. Uh, again, there's a note that says high triglycerides. Well, that's it for now. Appreciate you watching. This is William Biggs. Bye-bye.